What's up, guys? It's your man, Donovan Sharp. Uh, welcome to Sharp Shorts. Uh, let's get right to it. So I got an email uh, from one of my consultation clients uh, the other day. Um, I've been working with this guy for about a year, and he's starting to have more and more success with women. He's starting to starting to date more. He's starting to get more one-night stands. He's starting to fuck a lot of different girls. And he asked me the other day, he actually brought up a really a valid concern. He said, one thing that a lot of guys don't understand or that they don't think of when they begin to have more success with women is that you increase the odds of a false rape accusation. Uh, girls these days are very, very quick to accuse a guy of rape. And they do it for many, many reasons. I've talked about this before. And maybe he didn't call her back. Maybe she found out he had a girlfriend. Maybe she found out she was the side chick. Um, you know, maybe she got, maybe she got drunk and, and decided it was regret rape, whatever the case may be, girls will accuse guy, girls will accuse any guy, uh, you know, of rape for any reason at all. Just, they just wake up and they decide, all right, the guy raped me. And then of course everybody hashtag listen and believes. So <clears throat> when you start to have more success with women, you have to understand that false rape accusations are going to be more likely. There are a few things that you can do to safeguard yourself from the false rape accusation, slash sexual assault, and I'm going to give you guys a few a few ways to do that. Number one, send her the morning after text. You meet up with a girl at the bar, uh, you go out, you, you know, you, you go out to dinner with her, you meet her, you know, you meet up from Tinder, any other dating sites, you get her home, your house, her house, you fuck her, you have a good time, and that's that. What a lot of guys don't do, especially if, if it's just a one-night stand, they figure, all right, it's a one-night stand, it's a one-time thing, it'll never happen again, no need to text her anymore. You're half right. There's no need to text her anymore if that's a one-night stand, but you need to send her that morning after text to make sure that you show that the sex was consensual. You have to send that morning after text, or sometimes even send her the text the night of. So tell her, hey, I had a great time last night, I'd like to do it again sometime. Wait for that response. Nine times out of ten, she'll say, yeah, that was fun. You know, I'd like to do it again sometimes. Now, whether or not you plan on seeing her again or she plans on seeing you is up in the air. But the point is, is you have her on record saying, yes, I had a good time, meaning the sex was consensual. That is admissible in court and with the cops. And usually if you have the morning after text, they're, uh, they're going to drop the charge. They're going to be like, okay, she falsely, she, she accused you of rape. She accused you of sexual assault. It says here, oh, you, I had a good time last night. Oh, so did I. We've got to do this again sometime. Emoji, kissy face, whatever. Okay, charges drop. That's the first way that you can uh, avoid that, just by simply sending a morning after text to establish that the sex was consensual. Number two, record everything, all right? And when I say record everything, I mean wear a body cam if you have to. Guys, we're at extreme times. Sometimes it takes extreme measures. Um, spy equipment is... It's it's as inexpensive as it's ever been in history. I know a lot of guys right now that are wearing go, like miniature GoPros, mini body cams. They have they have these little tiny miniature cameras that record both audio and video. Uh, a lot of my consultation clients actually have several cameras set up around their living room or around their room where, where, where they know that sex is likely to occur. That way they can get the whole thing on video. That way, if a girl says, he raped me, you can show the video. You see, officer, she's willingly giving me a blowjob. You see, officers, she is willingly having sex with me. There's no, there, there's no denial. She's not saying, no, stop. This isn't rape. This is consensual sex. Record everything, guys. Well, that seems extreme, Donovan. Yeah, you know what? Will, will, will it seem extreme if you get falsely accused of rape and you have no evidence? Record everything. Here's another, here's another way to avoid a false rape accusation. Tell as many people as possible that you're going out on a date. Dude, tell your friends, tell your family, um, tell, you know, tell your coworkers. That way, they know you're going out on the date. So when you send her the morning after text, you have everything, we have everything recorded. You can also say to the cops, hey, everybody knew I was going out on this date. My brother, my brother knows, my sister, my, my, my cousins, my uncles, my friends, my coworkers, they all knew. That way, the cops don't think that you just jumped out of the bushes and grabbed her. Because some, when, when girls say they were raped, they have to make up a story, right? Sometimes they call it date rape, uh, where you take them out on a date and they and a guy ends up and they say a guy ends up raping them. Rape is rape. It doesn't matter whether that you knew the guy, you were on a date or not. So what you're doing when you tell other people about this date or this meetup is you are establishing the fact that she is willingly meeting up with you. You're not jumping out of the bushes. You're not stalking her. You didn't break in. You didn't break into her. Uh, you didn't break into her apartment because girls will lie. They will willingly go out with you. They will willingly fuck you. And then when they go to the cops, she doesn't want to have to answer the question. Well, if he raped you, why did you go out on a date with him? Like, why did you meet up with him for drinks? What was he doing in your house? No, she'll say, well, he broke into my house or he jumped out of the bushes. Girls will say this shit because they know that cops will, be will believe this. If you tell people that you were going out on a date, you now have on record, yes, she willingly agreed to go out with me on a date. The sex was consensual. Um, and of course, the last tip, screen grab everything. 
when you're texting a girl, setting up a date, this again, this this establishes that she wanted to meet, meet up with you of her own free will and volition. This is where text game is involved. Screen grab all of her texts. Hey, we're going to meet at XYZ place, restaurant, bar, movies, whatever, at XYZ time. Screen grab. Uh, the girl the girl is going to tell you, all right, I hope to see you there. We're going to have a good time. Screen grab, screen ga grab, screen grab. That way... If she falsely accuses you of rape, you can see, you can say, look, officer, she she willingly met up with me. She says she can't wait, et cetera, et cetera. So let's go over them again. Number one, uh, send, send the morning after text. Number two, record everything, uh, which means wearing a body cam, maybe recording audio, maybe have your phone set to record the audio. Number three, tell as many people as you can. Number four, screen grab everything. This way, if a girl does falsely accuse you of rape, you can tell the cops before they charge you, hey, listen, this is the morning after text. I told her I had a good time last night. She reciprocated that text. It says right there, I had a good time too. Number two, you can be like, hey, listen, here's here's the footage from my body cam. You can see that we're holding hands. We're making out. We're kissing. And oh, by the way, here's the footage from my bedroom cam. You can see that I'm fucking her doggy style. She doesn't seem to be running away. As a matter of fact, she seems to be liking it. And it, as you can hear, she's saying, yes, yeah, she's moaning and groaning. She She's obviously having a good time. Um, number three, hey, listen, everybody knew I was going out on this date. I told them I was excited to see this girl. She said she was excited to see me. Uh, and number four, screen grab everything. You see, officers, look, it's, I didn't jump out from the bushes. She, she she couldn't wait to come out with me. Everything was good to go. So uh, you got to understand, guys, you got to understand. It's great to be more successful with women, but you have to understand that the more successful you are with women, the more of a risk you run of a false rape or sexual assault accusation. If you have any questions for me, if you are a patron, you have questions for me, you want uh, a, a sharp short, want me to answer one of the sharp short, Become a patron, uh, less than 17 cents a day, and we'll see you next time.